My name is Lara Almaceri. Uh, I'm a Spanish artist. <laughs> I, I work a lot with uh, urban transformations. I am very curious about uh, how the cities change and how they develop. I am always looking for places in a city that are going to change, that are going to be turned down, that are going to be constructed. So with my work, I'm always trying to find a way to talk about the past and the future of the constructions in the city. Hi. My name is Martin Isles. I'm a director of Good Bad Art Collective. For roughly 10 years of our existence, we used a dumpster as a symbol for our group. We've uh, attempted to levitate one of our members in a lawn chair. We've even uh, turned a museum into a, an apartment building where we had every patron who entered the space, we gave them a, a surprise birthday party. But uh, we take art seriously and we love art. We love, about, we love its possibilities and what it could bring to people. Rachel Harrison describes her work as a conversation between, in her own words, the museum, the canons of art history, and the supermarket. She's been wary of public art commissions, but is excited to do this project in Dallas. There's humor in her work, and she uses everything from consumer products to found objects to create her abstract works, which we'll see in a public space in this city. My name is Alfredo Jar. As an architect that makes art, I use the methodology of the architect. And the architect, before acting in the world, must understand the world. The art world, what we call the art world, what we call the white space, the white cube, is a very insular type of place. It's a very privileged space. And it doesn't reach too many people. In order for me to act in the world, I must understand it. And this act is a creative act to respond to a place, to a community, to an issue. I'm Ms. Lerner. What you look for is a place that you can connect to, that you think your art can have a response to, build a bridge with. And so when you bring an artwork to that kind of setting, your you're kind of opening the, the space up to something else besides what it was intended for or what the people that are going there initially intended that to be. I'm Charles Long. When I do public work, I really want throngs of people coming to see the work. It's, it's exciting for me to see people all over the sculpture and enjoying it. I really want to use the public as part of the sculpture. My name is Rick Lowe. My interest in, in, in producing art is in building the relationships between a wide range of people for creative production that enhance the aesthetics and the, um, and the creative potential of a community to elevate itself. I'm Vicki Meek. I do public art projects that are interesting to me. For probably 20 some odd years now, I've been doing um, work that is involved in looking at the reclamation of black history and showing the black community as well as everybody else where we come from and really hoping that the, in doing that that you'll, people will begin to understand where they're positioned in the world. Hello, my name is Ruben Ochoa. I try to take objects that are in objects of demarcation in urban spaces such as like a galvanized fence poles, concrete retaining walls, even wooden pallets, and I try to extrapolate them from the original context and reshift the, the meaning. Ugo Rondinoni is as comfortable creating large-scale sculptures as he is drawing, painting, or working with video or sound. He's known for using naturally occurring objects, such as trees and stones. His work appeals to the viewer's senses and evokes the passage of time. He wants viewers to use their imaginations in the search for meaning. 